Peace guys, what's poppin' and welcome back to the YouTube channel of the Two Fashion Idiots. So, today we want to spice things up a little. We don't have a usual latest pickups video. We're gonna show you our latest acquisitions live with you guys. I mean, there's one exception which I'm gonna start off with. So, first latest acquisition. As you might be able to tell, Sneakers for me? Yeah, sneakers actually. Salomon X Boris Bijan Saberi. This diffusion line, but still. Bomba 2s. Very comfortable. I basically bought these. Um, I basically bought these to rock them every day. I needed a pair that I can simply put on, really quickly go out and be comfortable the whole day in, which is not that easy, obviously, with Augusta derbies or weedy boots or whatever. So that's the first piece, the first pair of shoes. The shoes are absolutely uncomfortable. Uh, to me, they are um, pretty comfortable, but obviously. Boris once you have the functionality of Salomon, uh, breathable, uh, waterproof and stuff. And then also some design elements of Boris and I love Boris. So I think a good first cup of the video. So yeah, uh, as I said in my last video, I copped something from Farfetch from uh, Ambush. So the first piece actually, the sweater from Ambush, so let's open it and let's see how the quality, <clears throat> I never had a piece of uh, Ambush, so, except of my ring, but it's not a piece of clothing, I guess, yeah, so, jeez, jeez, that's nice, man, yeah, with, the distressed, really nice. with the distressed also, <clears throat> Here the distressing raw hands also on the bottom. I guess something different, which or what I don't have in my closet. So I also have, I already have them fit uh, in my mind. So I can use my Feng Cheng Wang uh, X Converse for the first time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah he them. has them for a lot of months now and yeah. couldn't wear them yet. <laughs> They're so. already uh, having dust on them, so let's try them on with this ambush sweater. Yeah, the quality is also okay, I guess. Don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's good quality, but I mean, he. I know how much he paid because I found the pieces, both of them. It was on sale, so he made great deals, but. Retail, I wouldn't pay. Quality is decent, but it's not astonishing. Yeah. But for the price he paid, pay, uh, for the price he paid, it's quite okay. I guess uh, retail, it's like six hundred euros or something. I guess I, I think I paid three fifty. Yeah. I don't. Okay. Which one was more? The sweater was okay. more expensive. So yeah, that's my first piece. I bought in Macedonia. <laughs> so yeah, let's go. Okay, let's go. So just uh, mentioning, we're obviously gonna include everywhere pictures and videos and stuff. Yeah. Uh, he also unboxed them kind of, but didn't open the packages yet because the packaging was completely off. It was in some crazy, strange bags that Farfetch usually doesn't ship out. Normally they are shipping in uh, boxes, but yeah, yeah. I don't know why, why they did this. So maybe it's uh, the firm who uh, sell the stuff, pa packing into this, so I don't know. 
I also uh, just mentioning quickly obviously you have the zip here and then here the lacing and stuff with the tongue extra tongue also I unboxed these because I only waited for these quite a short time but I needed shoes to wear them quickly I needed comfortable shoes I wanted them really quickly and I wore them every single day since I got them except now because it's annoyingly snowing a lot here in Austria so now I can't wear them but anyway second piece I can't show you the front because my address is on it but let's Why? see you want to visit it. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see what we got here this is gonna be the deep tea sweatshirt I got you ordered everything on grave I guess right? am I right um, no this actually from a friend on Instagram Max Schuster, <laughs> Max Schuster, shout out to you, my friend. Absolutely amazing piece from Deep Tea, just showing you quickly. Obviously, that's the crash scene sweatshirt everywhere. This amazing, amazing construction all over the garment. So, yeah, quality. It's very thin, so it's actually... So it's actually for the summer, right? Yeah, I would say so. Spring, summer. Yeah. Uh, definitely not like a sweater, it's really more like a sweatshirt. And also with these cuttings. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's also, luftig, well. you have the hems here, obviously, but here it's very... So. Luftig. Windy. <laughs> it's, it's very, yeah, loose. Uh, the air goes through it, so something for the summer or spring definitely. Like we, like I previously said, we're gonna upload some fit pics and stuff. But yeah, amazing piece. I'm glad I got this. I got it for a very, very reasonable price too. So, so yeah, that's second piece. Deep Deep Art Crash Scene Switcher. So my second piece is a hoodie, also from Ambush. Um, I needed a white hoodie for a while now. I also tried to find some, but they're all basic. So Marco did find some yeah, I got nice uh, I got from, from Ambush. There you have the little Ambush writing on it with the with kind of wheels and with the... Yeah, then the special laces, I would say. Yeah, yeah. And also, if you see it down there, it's not like a basic hoodie which, which has the basic... Uh, Ending. Yeah, little ending there. Yeah. Has a bigger ending, you will see it in the fit pick. It actually looks very nice. I guess it, uh, on the model it seemed very nice. Yeah. So the quality is 100% cotton. Yeah. Yeah, it's also decent. It's similar to price. the first piece, yeah. I guess I paid uh, 200 euros, so it's okay for a white hoodie with the... Uh, also the sleeves. Yeah, yeah, the sleeves also have to... I found the piece and I even thought about maybe copying it myself, because I find this very interesting. It's a kind of new... Unusual. Yeah, it's... You don't see it often. Everybody who knows me knows I, I like unusual stuff, but this one, something like this, I haven't seen a lot, so very interesting. Yeah. We'll see it in the fit pick how it fits and uh -huh. how it looks. So even the whole uh, elongated end of sleeve doesn't even have the inner lining. So it's basically the outer layer is also the inner layer, which is kind of cool. And then you really have the actual inner lining where the sleeve doesn't end, basically. 
cool, cool, cool. The tag's still on there. If he ever wants to sell it again. <laughs> Very important. Patrick Spector, thanks for the tip. <laughs> <laughs> Always wear your stuff with the tags so you can sell them as new and get more of it. <laughs> <laughs> then my last item. And for me, based on the pictures, I haven't seen it live. Uh, the highlight of my free items. It's one of my favorite brands. So, ooh, they're heavy as heck, man. I told him to buy the uh, the white ones, but he decided to cut the the beige ones. So, yeah. yeah. The beige one, so but anyway, oh, look at this buffalo leather. Jeez, <laughs> I'm glad we got a new light now. So, obviously, the video quality is a little better, but just see this very structured, very thick buffalo leather. Jeez, but you take one, yeah, the quality is not absolutely nice. <clears throat> Unmatched with the streetwear white, but I can appreciate it, but it's not nothing for me, man. Yeah, it's... I would never wear something like this. Never. I mean, I think it's a pretty clean silhouette. Actually, it's not so much avant-garde. It's maybe a little bit uh, oldish, I could say. Yeah, yeah, that for old yeah. people. But yeah. But yeah. Anyway, quality is insane. Even the eyelets, if you can see, a little rusty. I mean, that's the whole purpose behind the eyelets. I think that's not natural. They made it seem like it's rusty. Buffalo leather, really. Oof. It's my first pair with buffalo leather. So I'm kind of amazed and I will definitely rock them. I'm glad I didn't open this one yet, so you can really see my authentic and open uh, reaction yeah definitely also in nice condition i would say yeah i don't know how old uh, these uh, boots are they look old but uh, i guess they are, aren't that old i think they were produced in like 2016 Probably something around that, 2015, 2016. But yeah, he didn't wear them that often, obviously, because yeah, even though they're a black pair of shoes, usually you can still see a little of discoloration on the sole or something, but even the sole is pretty clean. So yeah, great calf, I'm amazed. You're amazed for me. Yeah. That's the, that's the thing, boys. I'm happy for you. If you're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> yeah. That, yeah. that would be today's video, I guess. Yeah, that was yeah. it. Thank you guys for watching. See you at the next one. Peace out. Ciao. I